We begin tonight with the new MP for Peterborough, who's spending £800 a month from her own salary to try to clean up after the city's fly tippers. Fiona Onasanya was elected in June, and she says it's time that businesses there followed her lead to improve the area. The council is currently clearing around 800 fly tips every month, all at a cost of £200,000 a year. But it's mainly large, bulky items and electrical goods which are dumped, and it's those that the council charges to collect. Emma Bohr is at the Household Waste Disposal site for us tonight with the details. Emma. Yes, this is where you're supposed to bring your rubbish if you haven't paid for the council to take it away. But some people just aren't bothering, preferring instead to dump it near where they live or in the open countryside. Once billed as one of the most fly-tip streets in Britain, Norwood Lane was cleared last week, but already it looks like this. The new MP is making it her mission to take on the tippers. I think things like this need to be collected. This is the sort of thing that I'd have the electrical vans for. Mm -hmm. She's putting her hand in her own pocket to fund a clean-up campaign, paying for a team to take away bulky items from one street in the city a month. Do we just sit back and let the waste pile up? I feel very strongly because I live here. Um, people keep saying to me, oh, that's a very nice thing to do or you shouldn't do it. What if people dump waste for free because they know you're going to collect it? People are already dumping waste for free. And I can sit back and wait for someone to do something or I can do something. She's not alone. This Lib Dem councillor says more needs to be done. Are people blind to this? Because I'm not blind and nor are my colleagues. And this is what we feel something needs to be done. Now, I'm not scared to get involved with a bit of hardware. I'll put on a pair of Wellingtons. Before 2010, the council used to collect up to two bulky items of waste a year from people's home free of charge. But now that's changed and they charge £23. But they say it does cover a number of items. But is collecting bulk waste for free the answer? The problem that we've got is that there's no anecdotal evidence anywhere in the country which suggests that the authorities that have got a free bulky waste collection service have got any less of an issue with fly tipping than we have. And, and we have to raise money because of the cuts in, in our budgets and it brings in hundreds of thousands of pounds a year. And, and if somebody can magic up hundreds of thousands of pounds a year for me to replace that in the budget, then of course I would look at it. It might be seen as a gimmick. People might dump more waste because they think it will be collected for free. Or are there people that are dumping it for free anyway and it's just left on the side making our neighbourhoods unsightly? Fiona Onasanya is hoping businesses will come on board to make it easier for people to dispose of their rubbish rather than dumping it.